Hello, Electric Ad here, Matter Guitar Products. This is going to be an adept video of an installation of a Terminator system. We're going to install on this guitar a Terminator DVDT42 system, dual volume, dual tone. As you see here, with a three way toggle switch. Um, so, what we're going to do the first thing we want to do is let's flip it over. I want to get the control cavity set up right there. We're going to pull it off. So um, one thing I like to do is I like to keep, I don't like to be working over a guitar. So you can see how I have the control cavity closest to me. And then I like to try to keep my tools between myself and the guitar. I know some uh, people like to have their bench where their tools are on this side, but I like to keep them on this side. So uh, you, you minimize the risk of dropping a tool on a guitar, which I have done. And I'm sure anybody who's worked in, uh, on guitars for a long time also has. So... But this is the way I like to do it so you can minimize that risk. So let's first let's take this cover off. And one thing I like to do, I should do this right now. So have a little shot glass or a little bucket or something and then what you do is you put your screws in there as you take them out and what's nice about by doing it that way one thing you're not going to lose them they're going to be right there and second of all uh, if you forget them they're there and then you take the guitar flip it over and set it on top of the screw you're scratching the back of your guitar so you want to uh that's a good idea to do it that way Another thing you notice, I put my fingers around the screw when I'm tightening and uh, using the screwdriver. The reason why I do that, because I want to, if, if your screwdriver, if you don't have it on there, there's a possibility your screwdriver will slip, especially if you have uh, straight slot screw, uh, screws. But this way, it kind of minimizes the risk of slipping with the screwdriver and scratching the top of the guitar. So there we have them all out. And there we have what's currently in there you see we got a couple it looks like uh i thought they were cts pots but it looks like they may not be definitely porn's born's push pull pots uh, so let's move the screwdriver and move the screws out of the way in the cover okay what i'm going to do is we're going to replace everything so we're going to see what's here so this one's on the bottom, so that appears to be our bridge pickup. So what I'm going to do is, a lot of times I don't even need to snap it. Sometimes you just twist the wire like that. Just give it a and it just comes right off. Uh, and the reason why is because, you know, you're, you're, the wire is small, especially on these four wire pickups. So I just spin it a couple times, and boom, that hot wire is off of that pot. And because uh, this is a thin wire, I'm not sure with a gauge. I don't know if it's 20 or 30 or whatever. And not only that, you're heating it up to the, with the solder. So basically, you change the component of uh, the, the metallurgy. I don't know all the complete details, but basically, you're changing the properties of that, that wire, making it more susceptible. That, that wire just popped right off. It was hardly even on there. So that's our bridge pickup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tape it off. What I like to do is get some blue painter's tape. And... I'm going to do, get it over here out of the way, kind of look at where it's at. It's kind of tangled up with this one, this wire here. So I want to get it as far away from everything else. Let's see, the hole is right here where it's coming into. So I'm going to pull it over there, and get some blue painter's tape, and tape it up. So now at this, when you're taping these back, so I got my blue painter's tape here. A couple things. Sometimes it gets really sticky. And with some finishes of guitars, that can be, you know, detrimental. It can, so sometimes they take it just kind of get a little bit of the stickiness off. And since this is a bridge pickup, this would be a good time if you wanted to write bridge on here, if you're concerned that you may not remember which one is which. Uh, since this one's so long, I'm certain I'm going to remember that that's the bridge. So I'm going to take it and we're going to tape it back. 
So now it's out of the way. So we have here, let's go with the neck pickup now. Here it is right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna twist, twist the wires. Just get to come off. You know, by twisting it too, you're not trying to, you know, you're not having to take a, a, your wire cutters and stick them in there and you risk dropping on the guitar when you, when it's just as easy just to twist a little bit. And when they're soldered on here, it's easy to do. So wiggle it, boom, pops right off. Do this, now we get the ground wire off. And there it is. So there's our neck pickup. Wow, that's a short lead. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here. We're gonna tape that off. Get a little bit of the sticky off the tape. There we go. Now it's out of the way. So this one, going to the output jack. Here we have the ground of the output jack right here. And this is the hot lead. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm once again, I'm just gonna twist it. It's a little thicker wire, so it takes a little bit longer. So that one's done. So that is out. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this output jack right off of here. Got my screwdriver. Get my, uh, My little shot glass, put my screws in there. These are a little smaller screws as you can see. So we'll be able to easily tell them from the ones that were in the pick guard or the control plate ca ca cavity. Shot glass out of the way. And now, there we go. A little bit of dust and dirt coming out of there. <laughs> so, I'm just going to pull this off of here right now. So, you can see there. Pull that. Put some, my wrench on there just hold on to the jack just twist and there we go it's gonna come right on off of there so we have our first component out, out of the guitar put that aside I'm gonna put the jack plate aside get a little star washer that came with it I'm gonna save that because I may reuse that when I put the other one in so All right, so now our tools out of the way that we don't need. So now I think what do we have left? The bridge ground. I'm trying to see where that is. See, we got a wire going across all heavy duty wire soldered these cross. Now these are the components that go with the uh, uh, switch, okay? So the only other thing we have that we need to disconnect is the bridge ground, which I'm trying to see here where it's at. And I do not see it. Hmm. It might be on the other side of this switch here that I can't see because it's down below. Uh, unless this is it here. And I think that is it. It's this one here. So we'll bust that off. I think it's that one, we'll see. Or is that just tied to the switch? I think oh, that goes to the bridge ground. So now we have the bridge ground off, we have the output jack disconnected, we have the pickups disconnected. So the only thing we have that are connected to each other now are all the pots and the switch. So what we should be able to do is pull these out and uh, or loosen them up on the other side and they should all come out as a unit. 
so we don't have to disconnect any more wires. So let's flip it over. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. There we go. You can see it there. So I'll pull this off. We're going to reuse this knob on the, the next uh, uh, switch. Put it over there. Now we're going to pull off our knobs. Push pull pods. Usually I just pull up on them. Well, I, you know, don't try to just pull straight up. That's how you basically rip out shafts on pots. Uh, I like to wiggle it side by side. And there it comes off. Now, if you notice, this is an 18 tooth. That's the way uh, Borns makes them, the push pull pots. They're 18 tooth, and then, uh, which is, uh, and the size is more of a metric size. So it's more rigid. So this, so I'm curious. Well, let's pull this one off first. Wiggle it side by side. Sometimes it's best to hold your hand on a guitar, so that way if if you pull too hard and the guitar pulls up, you're not slamming it back down. Wiggle it side by side, and there it comes off. All right, got that one. Now let's try these uh, these volume. Now what we might find, which yeah, you know they're gonna be a little tougher. But they're they're up there pretty uh, pretty high, so I can get my shoelace underneath them. I'm gonna wiggle side by side. There it comes off. Yeah, and these are actually 24 tooth. So it's kind of funny because we have two different types of pots, but the 18 tooth pot did go on a 24 just fine. One thing I like to do when I pull up, see how that popped up and it kind of landed over here. Luckily kind of broke my own rule. Put it underneath here and grab a rag for a dust, you know, a guitar cloth. And now wiggle it side by side. And when it flies up, it's not gonna fly in the air. If you had a metal knob, that could come down and, and nick the top of your guitar and that would not be good. So we got the knobs off. Yeah, those are definitely not CTS pots. I can see that right now. So I thought they were, but they're not. So we're gonna take off the thumb screw here on the switch. There it comes right off. So that's down there. Move that off to the side. And now let's get our wrench carefully. It's kind of cool, you know, I'm just thinking. I have this tool here I bought. It's kind of neat, it's got a little nut driver on it. Let's try, give it a shot. Oh, look at there. And that way it's kind of nice because you won't damage your guitar at all because it's plastic. Kind of like that. I'm not sure who makes this. This is called Music Nomad. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so it's kind of, you can use a nut driver. It's got a screwdriver, you can flip it over. I like it, oh, it's got a half inch here too. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. So anyways, enough of my amusement of this tool. It's pretty, <laughs> it's very handy though, I have to say. So we'll pull that one off, pull that one off. We got those off. Now, let's see if we can find the one that's for that. Did that one do it? No, let's see. It's probably that one there. Yeah, that did it. Look at that. Doesn't take much to amuse me sometimes. Oh, so we got those loosened up. Move that off to the side. Loosen this up. Loosen that one up. So I'm going to put these off to the side for right now. I'm not going to put them in a glass because what I want to do is I want to put the nuts and stuff back on these pots. I like to keep it all together. So, technically, if I lift this up, move it aside, look at there. Just falls right out. Good deal, and it's nice because then the, the lock washers also come out, but there might be some still stuck inside. Let's see. Nope, they all came out. What do you know? But if you notice something here, let me flip this around. Let 
this control cavity is miss missing a cru crucial component. You may notice is that <laughs> there's no uh, shield tape in there. So we're going to get some shield tape and throw it in there. And then we'll also do, I noticed the cover also didn't have any shield tape on it. So we'll do that as well. So we'll throw some shield tape on that. And then in here, so let's do that now. 